Hello ballers, it's Preacher. It's not often that we start a big project like this one and don't really know what we're going to see. We usually want to get the footage or do the experiment just to make sure that what we're saying isn't just guesswork. So imagine my surprise when I found that Blizzard had already taken major steps to correct the issue. And in fact, it's created a whole host of new problems and great things. So join me as I go undercover in the cesspool guilds. So after some long conversations, the theory came up as to why it had become very common that certain ideas, which a few years ago, or simply applied to any other game on the planet, had become so outspoken and supported in WoW. So here's some examples. Single player should be as rewarding in both fun and experience as the multiplayer in a multiplayer-centric game. The best possible character reward shouldn't be locked behind any form of content. Uh, for example then, someone who chooses to farm boars deserves to receive the same quality items as people who had done the most challenging content. Now for clarity here, I personally just don't care what gear someone else has. The point is if you applied that idea to any other game it would seem totally absurd. Creating group based content is a waste of resources. Raiding and organised PvP should be removed from the game to better the community. Some of you may be reading those three examples and be shocked. I think no one would think that was a good idea. Everything I'm typing here is easily accessible on a WoW-centric forum. It took me less than five minutes on the official forums to find someone who believes it's unfair that quests exist that involve a five-player dungeon, ones that aren't accessible through LFD, as it's far too social to actually find your own group. So during these conversations about these topics, we had an idea. It's just a theory that potentially held some merit. Pre-cataclysm, guilds only ever existed for a purpose, be it leveling, PvE, PvP, whatever. There have always been bad guilds, but the guilds were formed with a purpose or a goal, right? Without that, there was literally no reason for a guild to exist. Obviously, there was some who just wanted to be a guild master, but that's the rarity. Cataclysm brought with it the guild leveling system, and the opportunity for guild masters to earn vast amounts of gold simply because people were online. From this point, guilds could not only exist without any purpose, but they were formed to swallow up every guildless person on the realm ASAP just to have more people online earning gold for the GM to do with whatever he wanted. Whether this system was created with noble intentions or not, the truth is no one logging into WoW was safe for to be consumed by the cesspool guilds. Add-ons were formed in order to automate this system, similar to dragging a net across the bottom of the ocean to scoop up every last piece of potential profit. You may even remember the early versions of these add-ons that couldn't differentiate between gilded and guildless people, so you would often receive a whisper congratulating you for joining Super Amazing Wonderful Guild, despite already being in a guild. I was in total amazement to find that add-ons like these have been downloaded millions of times. Jeez. So what happens if you're a new or experienced, inexperienced player, right? You know how when you start a game for the first time and you may be doing those first few rounds or the first few hours and suddenly something happens that seems really fucking unfair or just total bullshit? It happens to us all. But then you notice at the high end of the game, via streams or research or simply getting more experience at the game, that the thing you originally thought was totally OP is actually nothing of the sort and maybe doesn't even get a look in as you get better. Take the current Mythic Dungeon situation. Blizzard changes the name of Heroic to Mythic, no difficulty change really, and suddenly your average player thinks this is elite content. In a few weeks, they won't think that, but that's natural progression in a video game. Based on what we had, the ideas and the conversations, we thought maybe the cesspool guilds were swallowing up far more players than organised guilds could ever possibly do, so this situation might happen. For every 10 inexperienced players with their fresh view on things being brought into the mix, very, very few break away to find something better, but they're immediately replaced by far more people than are advancing, right? So what happens in the inexperienced views on the game, they keep circling around, around and around, and also being amplified over and over again until we get to the point where we're at now, where the sheer number and time this system has been in place has created a whole generation of players who regularly have these amplified ideas not only discussed, but they get them confirmed and reaffirmed, making everyone else who doesn't agree seem strange. Consider this. You and your friends go and see a movie. You all enjoy one specific part, and then sometimes you speak to one person who didn't think that part was good. They seem really weird and stupid to you, right? That's how it happens. So with that in mind, we set out to go into the cesspools. Check it out. 
I made a new character, used a level 100 that wouldn't get recognized, and someone else is 110. The plan was to wait to be invited, do no research and searching, spend an hour in each guild, have a look around, ask some wow questions, and then move on to the next. This, my friends, is where everything fell apart. My fresh level 1 was never invited to a guild. For context on my server, you have a guild invite waiting for you before the opening cutscene finishes. That amount of time at any level will have a guild invite. Results obviously vary on realm to realm. It took over an hour for my first invite on my level 100, and the minimum invite time was 37 minutes for my level 110, all the way up to 2 hours. What's going on? Some research later then. And we find that via two very simple steps, Blizzard has put a spike through the cesspool heart. Firstly, they concealed everybody below level 20 from the slash 2 who system, so the add-ons cannot find them. The second thing they've done, and this is amazing, they've made the process of sending a guild invite a manual button push instead of automated. I am absolutely amazed at the results of such a trivial change. Well done, Blizz. Now, I've put some stats up in the background, not surprising for the guilds we did join. Six in total. To be clear then, they haven't stopped the invites, but it has been dramatically reduced. I absolutely love that new players are somewhat protected from this system. So my whole theory doesn't actually matter, as the cesspool system is dying away anyway. Unable to replace people as fast as they leave or stop logging in, and less incentive to actually do it in the first place. But I did mention at the beginning, there's a whole host of new problems. There is. As I'm in a guild as both multiple raid teams, and it's also open to anyone and everyone to come along, I was concerned when some of the new people who obviously joined during Legion whispered me saying they felt really uncomfortable in the guild. That was really strange. Out of all the guilds I've been in, our guild is actually super, super relaxed. Although it's a community guild, it is still a guild. It has purpose, it has organization, it has structure. This is something that those who are coming away from the cesspool guilds and not instantly being sucked up are finding really, really uncomfortable. Imagine for a moment that you were one of the players who were caught in the cycle. Now describe what a WoW guild is to me. It would essentially be a second trade chart, right? The only requirements to join was to be online. So the idea of a guild app in any form would be completely absurd, right? Why should I fill out a form when I, my entire history, potentially years, has involved me just not being gilded to get a guild invite? Item level would be king. There's no screening process or focus on gearing a group of people, so it's every man for himself. You're not gearing a raid, it's just about you. There is no concept of real social interaction. All you know is what you've learned from trade chat and within guild is item level requirements to do any form of content because you want the best run for you. This is all you have ever known. No one in authority has cared about literally anything you have ever done in the guild. These guys are coming out of a horrible experience, and they're going to be in a situation that's very alien to what they have perhaps known for years or since day one of installing World of Warcraft. They may need time to ease in without being blasted in the ass for mistakes. And also, if you're coming away, you're one of these guys, and you're finding that just being in Ogrimmar isn't enough to find a new guild, be happy about that. Take your time. Find somewhere that suits you, and you're going to find it a little strange at first. But honestly, it's just because you got caught in a bad cycle at the beginning. But thank God, the cesspool guilds are over. Hopefully.